to know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. At the heart of the city of Amritsar is a fort that has played a significant role in the history of Punjab. The Gobindgar Fort, recently opened to the public, was one of the most significant bastions of the Sikh Empire under Maharaja Ranjit Singh. While his capital was Lahore, it was in this fort that Ranjit Singh had his mint and his armory. Strategically, the Gobindgar fort was also critical because it was in the holiest of six cities, Amritsar. This also gave the fort and anyone who controlled it religious sanction. After all, it was this fort that protected the Harmindar Sahib, the holiest shrine in Sikhism. But the story of Gobindgarh Fort is older than that of the Sikh Empire and goes back to the early days of the Sikhs, when the land was carved into small principalities controlled by powerful Sikh clans called the Missals, which rose as the Mughal Empire declined in the 18th century. At that time, Amritsar was under a missile called the Bhangi Missal, controlled by its chief Sardar. Gujjar Singh Bhangi. Interestingly, the missile was also called Bhangi because the soldiers from the clan were known to be fond of Bhang or marijuana. It was Sardar Gujjar Singh who is credited for building a small fort at the site of the Gobindgarh Fort in the 1760s. Locally, it was called Bhangi Oda Kila or the Fort of the Bhangis. The end of the 18th century marked the rise of a leader in the plains of Punjab. Maharaja Ranjit Singh, who would go on to conquer one missile after another and establish a large empire that stretched from Multan to Kashmir. He was only 22 years old when, in 1802, he conquered Amritsar from the Bhangi missile and incorporated it into his empire. The conquest of Amritsar was crucial for Ranjit Singh as it was the second largest city in Punjab after Lahore and the spiritual base of the Sikhs. Not surprisingly, one of the first things he did on taking over was the renovation and expansion of the old Kila, which was located just outside the walled city of Amritsar. The fort took around four years to complete and was named after the 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh. The fort was separated from the walled city of Amritsar by an open ground. Over 12,000 soldiers were deployed in the fort to protect the city. An important armory where weapons were manufactured was set here and the fort also functioned as the largest mint or tanksal where silver and copper coins of Maharaja Ranjit Singh were minted. Interestingly, it was here in the Tosha Khana that the Kohinoor diamond was kept after the Emperor of Afghanistan, Shah Shuja, gave the diamond to Ranjit Singh in 1813. At that time, it was even paraded around in the streets of Amritsar. After the death of Maharaja Ranjit Singh in 1839, the British took advantage of the vacuum to bring down the Sikh Empire. Within 10 years, Punjab was annexed and made part of the British India by Lord Dalhousie. In his private papers, Lord Dalhousie described the fort of Govindgarh as the most important place in all of India perhaps. Gobindgarh, however, lost its strategic importance over the time under the British Empire. Later, it was handed over to the Indian Army. The Gobindgarh Fort has been restored today 
and it opened to the public in February 2017. Go to the fort and you will be able to see this, one of the greatest markers of Ranjit Singh's Sikh Empire in India.